Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here. Once again, back in Forza. This is going to be our final Chevy for a while. The last few videos have all been Chevy for the Dirt Fish Rally School Series for A-Class Muscle Cars. Now, technically, this is a van and utility car, but it's basically a muscle car. Come on, it's a different looking Chevelle. So this will be our last Chevelle-based uh, car we take a look at this series, for sure. And this car is pretty good all around. Long wheelbase, good starting engine, a lot of PI to play with. Let's see what we get here. Hmm, I think we're going to have a pretty stock engine. Depends on how uh, suspension and roll cage do to this car. Alright, suspension doesn't do too much. Roll cage doesn't do much either. Weight wise, uh, I think we're going to try to stick with the same strategy as before, staying just over 4,000 pounds. And then we chuck power at it the rest of the way. We can only put on a supercharger just like the Chevelle 454 we had before. That makes sense, they're the same engine. And there we go, we can even do maximum supercharger. Uh, this doesn't seem to be getting as much torque though. We're still getting a lot. It's not going to have 800 foot pounds of torque like our last car did, or like how the Super Sport. 54 Travel did. Last car out, the Impala, had a pretty good engine, but it was just not fast enough to take down the Buick. The Buick still leads going out second, I think. Mighty good effort shown there. But I've driven this El Camino a lot for B-Class races. In the A-Class, I wonder if it's going to be even better. In fact, we actually have pretty good grip according to the stats there. Let's see what we get. It'll be fine there. Uh, anti roll bars are good. Aerodynamics. This is always the one that I fill around the most with next to differential tuning. 102, 107. So it's in, in line with other muscle cars. That makes sense because it is one. Doesn't seem to be caring what I do with the aerodynamics at the back here. There we go, it's finally changed. There we go. I will leave the drive line in its stock position. Uh, hang on. Can we have 102, 107 for lateral Gs? We did. Sorry, I missed something along the way here. First, looking at the bottom number, not the top number. There we go. Uh, car mastery. Sure, why not? Let's do one here. Maybe that'll level us up, question mark? Not quite. We're ready to go though. Our Chevelle, I mean, Super Sport, I mean, El Camino. I mean, they're all the same car. I'm opening up a Cheerwine for the video here.
A that does level us up. Level 501. So I think we still have uh, 100 more levels to go before I overlevel again. Uh, so that why not actually does good to getting me back up towards money cap because I spent 20 million on that Bu Buick GSX because I want to have a lot of them. I think that's just what they go for now. I haven't even tried to sell one of my stock ones. Oh, well. Now, if you have one, I'll buy it from you. <laughs> Probably not, though. Rivals, A-Class, and Change Rival, 2B, uh, me. Buick JSX still leads with a time of 53.2 seconds. And that's been pretty undefeated. It's been close to being beaten, but it's never been beaten yet. I think this will have a good chance at doing it, though. It's got a nice long wheelbase, good big tires, full aerodynamics. Not as much torque, though. It still weighs a lot. Hmm. This might be the same thing as the Impala we saw last time. Good engine, but not good enough. All the rest of the car is still good, though. I do remember this. This car is a great turn-in. Initial turn-in, at least. Again, we'll never know how well we are actually doing until we complete the first lap. Which will let us see how the car handles these jumps though and the water splash. We can't quite clear that jump. I guess there is a lot of overhang at the back. We dent the rear bumper. No big deal. Oh yeah, this car is amazing at these turns. That front end just stays planted. At least on the dirt. On the road, there's some understeer because we're using off-road tires on tarmac. On the brakes, this car still does feel like a big old muscle car because it is one. We can match the Buick through the jumps and the water splash. We may have a chance through the turns, because this car does have really, really good turn-in. We cleared the jump this time, we didn't clip the bumper. Clip the thing there. Not what I wanted to do. We'll use this car's good turn-in though, to great effect. Couldn't beat it that lap around, but we are close. Ah! There's bound to happen sometime. That's the first car to hit that wall. Need to be a little bit on the brakes. We were a little bit too ambitious trying to carry it almost flat out. Oh well, it had to be one car, and I guess it was this one. No, despite hitting a wall at the beginning of the lap, we haven't fallen that far back. We're gonna make that checkpoint, so I had to turn twice. Oh dear, I had to be on the brakes for way more than that. What? Ah, oh, I hate that turn. The wall sticks out just in a couple feet too much. We're not as clean through here as I would have wanted. I think that's why I left it in fifth gear by accident. I wonder. <laughs> Can I do a line like this? Probably not. We're probably too tight for the rest of the way here. We gotta throw it all at it at the last lap once again. Just not too much throwing at it. 
Oh, that is so close. I threw it too hard, though. Yeah, I, I, I knew I did that one. Tried turning like way, way, way before just to see what would happen. I think it, it would work if I start from a wide enough line. But I've lost all my speed, so... Buick remains uncontested. That's the perfect balance. Chevelle, Supersport, 454, and by extension... The El Camino 454 Super Sport. Put up a good fight. Was not enough though. 53 6. Needed again that 3 tenths of a second. That's all we needed. If I didn't mess up turn 1 here, it probably could have been a different story. Oh well. It's always something like that that happens. Give it up for the 454 SS. I wonder what we'll try next time around. I think we'll done with, we are done with Chevys for now. Maybe I'll do a Camaro later, but for now we're going to move on to Dodge, I think, next time around. So if you're up for that, leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and of course don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks again, well, I'll see you all in the future.